his situation was that he would take a television series with the idea of writing the main title theme, turning the score music on a weekly basis over to one of his arrangers, composers, etc. Then he would move on and get another series and write another theme because at that point themes paid a lot of money. So we tried to do that in a number of cases, including Wizards and Warriors, which I think we had seven episodes of, hoping that it would go to series, but it never lasted longer than seven episodes. So we tried again, and we tried again. And um, so one day Lee called me and he said, I'm doing this pilot for ABC and it looks really good. Uh, he says, I was wondering if you'd be willing to orchestrate the pilot for me, and I'd like to introduce you to the exec producer, Glenn Gordon Karen the creator. I said, sure. And he said, if he likes your work, maybe we will hire you. So I orchestrated the pilot for him. It went well. ABC loved it. Uh, they gave him a five-show commitment. Uh, Lee introduced me to Glenn. Uh, said, he said, I'd like to have you give Alf a chance of doing the episodes. Glenn said, yeah, I'd like to do that. Um, but just in case, he hired another composer to split episodes with me just in case I fell on my face. It all worked out for the best, fortunately. So Glenn really liked, liked my work. So I ended up doing, um, I did the first episode, the other guy did the second episode, I did the third episode, the other guy did the fourth episode. Glenn didn't like the fourth episode, threw it out and hired me to come back and redo the fourth episode and kept me from that point on. And the show was? Moonlighting. Moonlighting. The show was Moonlighting. So talk about working with Glenn Gordon Karen. Oh boy, what a roller coaster. First of all, I love Glenn Gordon Karen. I just, he's such a talent. He's just an amazing guy. But that doesn't cover up the fact that he, he was just impossible with deadlines. Oh my God, he believed that you could do your best work with one foot off the edge of the cliff. Uh, there was hardly any time to do scores for this show. Uh, we would oftentimes do music spotting Tuesday afternoon and record on Friday for an hour drama with 35 players. And this would go week after week after week. It got, sometimes it got worse, sometimes it got better, but most of the time it got worse. And I would call Glenn on the phone and I would say, Glenn, you know, you gotta help me out here. I said, I'm, dry, I'm dying with this stuff. You gotta give me, give me some more time. I said, give me, Give me an extra five hours. No, nah, kid, you're doing great. Just keep doing what you're doing. So away we would go. We'd do, do another one. And uh, I did four years of that, knowing that I was going to be up all night, Thursday night, every week that we would record on Friday. Uh, just accepted it for what it was because it was such a great show, and it was so musically driven. Glenn just had such an interesting way of going after music for television. And I thought, you know, I really see what's going to happen to my career here if I keep doing this show. I've got to stick this out because it's getting everybody's attention. You know, there was no show like it on the air. 